How Zephyr's doing? If that law guy is his son, we shouldn't be rough with him. I want to believe that. But those two didn't look like they're exactly on good terms. Actually, now I'm curious. Can Danans enlist in the Snake Eyes too? Definitely. They're useful for surveillance here. Doesn't win you many friends on... Everything's going pretty well, so... That turned out good, if I do say so myself. All right, guys. Ready to go? It's eerily quiet. No sign of Zephyr. You think they took him away already? What say we quit hiding and go ask some villagers? Someone's bound to report us no matter what we do. So, we might as well. Hey, Shion! What? You heard her. She's got a point. Our cover was blown last night. Where's the sense in sneaking around? And what if there are soldiers lurking about? They would have followed us to the cabin already. Relax. The coast is clear. Let's hurry and speak to the villagers. Is she always like that? I don't know how you managed to put up with her. What makes you think I'm managing? Let's try talking to the villagers. Messia 224. Now that's a weird name. Messia is basically a code. It indicates it's a small village. So it's not its actual name? Then does that mean that 224 is... Yeah. Hmm. It's merely a serial number assigned to it for administrative purposes. So the Renans even get to decide what places are called out in this room. Hoo-hoo! Um. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> Looks like we've spotted one of Hoodle's friends. You're the friends of that man the Bureau agents took away. Please, leave us alone. We don't want any trouble. No! <laughs> Answer our questions and we'll leave you in peace. Where did the agents take our friend? S Sisloden. The capital. That's what they said. I knew it. What did we ever do to deserve this? We haven't even crossed the street without looking first. Why are they Shh. after us? Come on, we're wasting time. You'll need to hurry if you want to get your friend back. Not a single person who's been taken to Sisladin has ever returned. Hey, keep quiet! You're trying to get us all killed! Out of hell with that! Go on, report me! See if I care! I thought this Sisladin was a city. Is it a prison camp? It's the realm's capital. Though when you're forbidden to move freely like we are, there isn't much difference. My parents and siblings were taken by the Snake Eyes. I haven't heard from any of them since. 
For all I know, they're long dead by now. Anyway, go! And kill as many snake eyes as you can for me while you're there! All right. To Cislodin it is. People are really terrified of the Snake Eyes. They've got them jumping at their own shadows. They may be Lord Ganabelt's lackeys, but for all intents and purposes, it's the Snake Eyes who control the realm. One wrong look, and your history. So Zephyr's being moved to Cislodin. Let's cross our fingers we catch up with him on the way. I mean, the plan was always for me to take you guys to Cislodin anyway. But a word of advice. Oh? There's a forest we have to pass through on our way there. I won't lie to you. It'll be dangerous. More Zoogles? Wild ones at that. They hunt in packs led by the biggest, meanest one. My friends and I got cornered by one on our way to Calaglia. That's how we got split up. We'll just have to keep our wits about us then. The forest we're about to walk through is pretty dangerous. Let's make sure we're prepared before we go further. Rinwell, if you get injured, just let Xion know, okay? I only have one pair of hands, you know. Shion, could we talk a moment? And here I was, thinking I could get some rest. Is something the matter? The matter? No, no, nothing like that. Then if it's all the same to you, I'll be going to sleep, thanks. Is chatting with me really that much of a drag? I just don't get the point, that's all. Is there some pressing reason why we have to talk right now? I don't know, I just... I think we should all make an effort to get to know one another. What if there's an emergency? An emergency? What if one of us suddenly got sick? Then I'd cure them with my healing arts and we'd move on. That's easy for you to say. But for the person doing the asking, it may not be so easy to approach you. If they can't work up the courage to approach me, that's their problem. Unless you're suggesting I refuse to heal someone for the fun of it. I didn't say that. So what then? Quit beating around the bush and just tell me. Look, what I'm trying to say is... If we're going to be traveling together, it makes more sense to do it as companions, rather than being at each other's throats the whole time. I still don't get it. <sighs> but I do understand that whatever it is, it obviously must mean a lot to you. I'm not trying to make things more difficult for you just for the sake of it. So, I'll make more of an effort to talk every now and then, even when we don't have to. Happy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I am. Then if you don't mind, I'm going to get some sleep. Have a good night. <laughs> Didn't get it, huh? I think it's time we go to sleep. How long do you plan on just sitting around doing nothing, Alfin? Because it looks to me like you're taking your sweet time getting ready. I'm not procrastinating, if that's what you're implying. Oh? Sure looks like it to me. You had me worried you'd forgotten our mission. Again. I know, I know. You don't need to keep reminding me. Hey, Alfin. I'm already over here. R right. Thanks for letting me know. I saw you talking with that Bright Eyes before Lights Out last night. Mind telling me what you two discussed? Nothing in particular. I just figured that maybe she would open up a little if I tried talking to her. What? Her? She's a Renin. I know we're working with her, but that doesn't mean we have to play nice with her. 
Look, we're all going to be traveling together for a while. It's only going to make things harder if we're at each other's throats. If all we do is bark orders at each other instead of working together, that's not much different than how it is for the rest of us. I think it's important that we all understand each other and work together as equals, if it's at all possible. Do we, though? <sighs> because I sure don't get the feeling she means to do the same. <sighs> as soon as Zephyr disappears, all hell breaks loose. We can't get anything done if things stay tense like this. But what the hell am I supposed to do? Well, I guess I'll just have to keep hammering away at them and see how it goes. Come on, guys. We've got lots... So this is the forest teeming with Zoogles you warned us about. No sign of Zephyr, though. Which means either they had the skills to make it through safely, or were too late and the strays got to them first. Do you say every thought out loud? Just the true ones. Are we moving or what? Don't worry, Hoodle. It's okay. I can barely see enough to take two steps forward without bumping into something. Yeah. I have to be careful not to miss anything coming from off the path. This is nothing. When Hi, Hoodle! You're mine! Rising Warper! We're in good form! It's freezing. I can barely feel my toes. Let's find a way back up quickly, then. This will be a delicious Here piece I of come. cake! Rising Wyvern! You're on! Red. We're in good form! I could easily see us getting lost here while we're trying to find Zephyr. I get this is supposed to connect the capital to the villages. Why has it got to be so winding? And not... Thanks, Shion. Just doing what I can. Let's dispose of the Here trash. Swallow blade! Come one, come all! Ah! I'm not done! We want that by a mile! from a battle. Hey, new equipment! <sighs> but an opponent like this should be easy. Rising Wyvern! You Come are on. in hip -hop no. As soon as I'm done here, Where's come help out. Well, looky here! What's wrong? Huh? I guess. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Got it. For real? Company, and not the nice kind either. Rimwell, get back! And miss all the action? Who do you take me for? Out of our way! It's a big target at least. Don't underestimate its speed. Mega Red, this one's mine! Who wants to die? These next? ones can run straight around us! It's you can go and fight! Rima. Astral energy! Say no more! Huh. Here I come! I Swallow blade! I'm, I'm almost on. impressed now! My praise coming from you! I said astral energy! Say no more! <laughs> you okay, Rinwell? I'm fine. What do you notice now? It smells like blood. This is... All these Zoogles. They're dead. What happened here? They didn't do this to each other. So then how... Did all of this? was that guy? Do you think he could have been the lord we're looking for? Ganabelt? I doubt a lord would deign to roam around a place like this alone. Besides, what business would a Renan have with killing Zoogles? Now that I look at it, it was a good call staying out of his way, I think. Look at this. He took them out with a single slice. This guy's no amateur. <laughs> you okay? Uh, oh, um, yeah. We should get going. Zephyr needs us. That knight back there sure wasn't messing around. If he's not a lord, what is he? I have no idea. I've never seen anybody like him. Well, he definitely... There it is. Sisloden. What's with those beams of light? They don't strike me as your everyday streetlights. They're kind of the key to this whole realm. You'll see what I mean when we get there. <sighs> What's on your mind? First, Rinwell appears out of nowhere, right after we beat Balsef. Then, we bump into Zephyr's son, who's with the enemy. Somehow, we get away scot-free because the Snake Eyes don't even bother chasing after us. Is it really a coincidence? 
you think it was a trap? W what But I would never... If not for the whole Astral Arts episode, I'd be worried. But no, she's not behind this. Perhaps an unwitting pawn in someone else's plan. <sighs> what? All this to capture Zephyr? Maybe. All I know is it all slots together a little too nicely for my liking. Not that dwelling on it'll get us anywhere. Trap or otherwise, we've got a lord to defeat. So how do we get inside? What? Well, we can't just march into the Viper's nest through the front door, surely. There's a secret passage near Spring on the outskirts of the city. We can get in through there. I hate camping out. I think he's saying something's over there. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? What's going on? Why did the weather change all of a sudden? The snow's gone, and it doesn't even feel cold anymore. Just what's going on? What is this place? I see something big farther in. Is that a zookle? No. An owl? <coughs> Hoodle doesn't seem too wary, so it's probably not hostile. Let's go see what's up then. Stay sharp. I don't get it. Why has it suddenly started giving us things? <laughs> hey, is that owl beckoning us over? I think it is. It's the owl we rescued before. Then maybe that's what the gifts are all about. It's thanking us for saving its friend. This one isn't just bigger than Hoodle, though. Something about it seems almost regal, don't you think? What if it was the king of the owls? Would that make the other one the queen? You think so? Yes, they're clearly a pair. Is this some kind of owl sanctuary? It's such a big place, though. I wonder if those two were living here all alone until we rescued that owl. I thought no other owls existed, but here they are. And a king and queen by the looks of them. You never know what other ones might be out there until we look for them. It's not like you were searching the whole world over yourself, right, Rinwell? That's... well, I mean, yeah. I guess you've got a point. Hey, Hoodle! How about we find more of your friends and tell them about this place? It can be a little side mission on our trip, if that's okay. It's fine with me. We'll find as many as we can. Thank you. Rinwell? It's nothing. Don't mind me. Ready to move on? around here.
So the guys we saw back in Messia were snake eyes. And your group fighting them is... The Silver Swords. Heck, we even have members working within the Snake Eyes gathering intel for us. Sounds like it involves a lot of double crossing. It does. But it keeps us alive and one step ahead. Calaglia wouldn't have been liberated without those double agents. You are in tip top shape. Soon as I'm done here. How could a girl ever say no? These little ones are hardly worth our time. We're in good form. Rinwell. Hey, Rinwell! What are you doing here? If the snake eyes spot you here, they'll. So you did make it back alive. Man, am I glad to see you safe. Barely. When we all got separated, I thought. They're fine. They all got back in one piece. Well, Azugul took a bite out of two of our guys, but what matters is you're safe. So, are you gonna introduce me? Meet Alfin and Shion. I brought them with me from Calaglia. You mean you made it to Calaglia? Wait, this is it? Just the two of them? Where's the rest? Well, it's kind of a long story. It's best if I fill everyone in at once. Your call, Rinwell. But everyone will be dying to know. We better get back as soon as we can. Use this passage whenever you need to go in or out of the city. Stay away from the front gate, whatever you do. How do the Renans not know about this secret route of yours? Cisloden's an old city. It's littered with pathways that people have long forgotten. But keep your voice down. We don't know how long this route will stay hidden. This is Cisloden, capital city of Cislonia. Be careful. You never know where Snake Eyes or their informants are lurking. We are basically walking into a Zugul's den here. There are shops here. On a permit basis. As long as people don't get reported on and sent to work the floodlights, economic activity is allowed here. All this talk about reports and permits. This place really is different from Calaglia. Who's this? They're with me. If you say so. Come on, Menek's waiting. We can talk in there. The name's Menek, leader of the Silver Swords. And I wish I could extend my warmest welcome to you all, but... If my eyes don't deceive me, you appear to have a Renan in your midst. 
if she is your prisoner. That's a rather loose leash you have her on. She's not a prisoner. So why do I get the feeling there's a rat about the house? No offense intended. See, I've grown comfortable with the likely outcome I'll be stabbed in the back. But stabbed in the front? We risked our lives just to get here, sir. If you want to send her away, fine. But you'll lose me, too. I see. Trust is in about as short supply as light around these parts, and mine more than anyone's. But... I'll choose to believe you. Forgive my manners. You must be tired after such an arduous journey. But to business. We need your strength. The Snake Eye's grip on the city tightens by the day. Our people are suffocating out there. Hence the scouts I sent to find help. We're at the end of our tether here. That's why we're here. To help. We've got the firepower to do it, too. But first, we've got some urgent business to take care of. I see. So your leader is in need of rescuing. It's none of your concern. We get that. But... It's coming to our aid that got you into this mess in the first place. You can count on us. Just as long as you help us with our problem afterwards. If he's been arrested by the Snake Eyes, as you say, then there's a good chance he's being interrogated over at their headquarters. Either that, or he's being put to work over at the Floodlights. First priority is finding out where he is. If you're planning on tagging along, Rinwell will show you the way. Just make sure to keep a low profile. Remember, it's not just the Snake Eyes. Hostiles lurk among the villagers, too. This leader of yours, he must be quite the inspiration for you to go to such lengths for him. I look forward to meeting him someday. All right, let's head into town and see what the fuss is. Somebody's watching us. Maybe there's someone around here who needs our help. Okay, off we go. We can't chase after every little thing. light have been coming from. Right. Any Danans accused of dissent against the Slodia's lord are rounded up and brought here, then put to work. It's a fierce deterrent. And you think Zephyr might be in there with them? A 
I want to see what the lights are all pointing towards. Take us there. Damn. You can see where the floodlights converge from all the way over here. I want to take a closer look. There's something I need to confirm. What could possibly be worth the risk of us all getting spotted? You'll find out when we get there. Everybody walking around look... So depressed. Can you blame them? They live under the cover of darkness, Dan. Hey! Ugh. Hey. Hmm? Why you? Huh? Why you? Sorry. spirit vessel. I thought as much. So they're pumping it full of light. No, not light. Astral energy. Of course. No wonder this realm's so dark. It's as though there's a pall over the sky even during the day. Except it isn't dark. Not really. The light's just being diverted. Diverted? Suck up all the light, and all that's left over is darkness. What's the difference? Darkness exists as an actual element of astral energy, just like light does. Didn't you know that? Mm. Let me break it down for you. Astral energy exists as different elements. There's earth, water, fire, and wind, as well as light and darkness. But dark astral energy only exists on Rena, and light astral energy on Dana. So dark energy isn't harvested as part of the crown contest. She's right. It's the same reason why I can't wield dark energy, and similarly, why no Renans can use light energy either. The only exception to that rule on the Renan end is likely the Lord here, who has the Light Master Core. Whatever the case, it looks like they're collecting light here the same way they were fire back in Calaglia. From what I hear, there used to be a proper day and night cycle in Cislodia ages ago, but apparently, over the last 300 years, the darkness spread from Cisloden and covered the whole realm. That's crazy. I can't believe the Renans found a way to steal even our own damn light. We shouldn't linger. Let's keep moving before someone spots us. Wandering around blindly is getting us nowhere. The Snake Eyes have the information we need, but we can't just ask for it. So what if we sneak in and take it instead? I wasn't aware you knew how to be sneaky. Uh, hey, look over there! That's Zephyr's son. Law. I don't know. Something doesn't feel right about all this. Are you kidding? He's practically gift-wrapped for us. Hey, what are you?
I remember you. What do you want? We don't mean you any harm. We just want to talk quietly. Deal? <sighs> Make it quick. Where are you keeping Zephyr? Uh, uh, We're here to rescue him. Uh, why? What do you mean, why? Isn't he your father? Oh yeah, easy to forget that. After he abandoned me. Abandoned? It's the truth. All my old man ever cared about was sticking it to the bright eyes. He never even made it to mom's funeral. So you become an agent for the local lord? You got a problem with that? You're not exactly one to talk, keeping company with a Renin woman. You think you know her, but wait until she has a choice between you and her people. I may have become an agent for the Renans, but at least I'm here trying to soothe the agony of my people from the inside. What's your excuse? I don't buy it. No. You're running because you're scared. You think you're the only one who's had to suffer? What the hell do you know, you- Ow! What the- Damn you! Word to the wise, people like you Enough. make me- Look, I don't know what happened between you and your father, but what I do know is that when you fought back at the village, he wouldn't raise a hand to strike you. Uh. I've never seen Zephyr back down from a fight, but he could never hurt his own son. And when he said he was staying behind, I think it was because he wasn't willing to abandon you. If you know anything, then tell us, please. I... I don't know where they're keeping my dad now. All I've heard is that they're going to publicly execute him in the plaza in front of headquarters. Execute? Thank you. You did the right thing. Why are you so determined to help my father? Zephyr is the reason I took up the sword. He taught me how to think for myself. And I want to learn more. If they're going to execute him in the plaza, then it'll be too dangerous for us to go alone. Let's ask Menik. He should be able to sneak us in. Sounds good to me. Let's have a chat with him. Okay, off we go. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? See anybody around here who could use a or help? 
We can't chase after every little thing. your friend poodle so you made it back in one piece no promising leads unearthed on this end I'm afraid it may take a little longer we got our own lead but it's not good they're planning to execute Zephyr in the plaza in front of the Snake Eyes headquarters. And soon. They're going to what? I've never known them to move so fast. They must believe he poses a grave threat. We have to break him out. We could really use your help. Not gonna be easy. But I'm sure we can think of something. If they're staging it in the plaza, there's bound to be an announcement beforehand. Which means if we can... S Snake Eyes! They've got us surrounded! Damn! I knew we shouldn't have trusted! Save it! In position, everyone! Repel them! Use us, Menek. We've got your back. No. You need to get out of here now. Rinwell, you know what to do. Underground waterway to the rear. On it. But... No discussions. You didn't make it this far for it to end here. We'll be fine. We just have to buy you a little time. I'll send word later. Now get going already. So this passage runs beneath the whole city, huh? Pretty clean for a Dan and sewer. Are you sure it's safe down here, Rinwell? It's our emergency evacuation route, so it should be. You sure it's as secret as you think? We can use this chance to clear the way for Menek and the others when they follow. Let's go! Enemies show up the moment we do. Are we the reason for it? We can puzzle over it later. We gotta run. Get 
I've lost! Here I come! Rising Wyvern! Mirage! Take this! Freeze left! Well, looky here! Go no further! Here I come! Not on my watch! Blood! Rising! We've turned the tables on them. There are still more left. Right. No time to hold back. Rising Let's keep our eyes on the prize. Should we really take this? 